it's time to save the world and start digiting the secret code. Everybody is welcome in the Swan Station a contemporary art digital bunker without pre-established geographical coordinates, characterized by a marked predisposition to counterintuitive processes such as entanglement, temporal distortions, and multidimensionality. From now on to face the pandemic crisis from COVID-19 the exhibitions will be republished including new content in virtual reality 360 degrees, to allow everyone immersive teleportation, Episode 5. Luca Pazzi. The Dark Collection. On December 24, 2019 at midnight an Android application for smartphones has been released, downloadable directly from the artist's website called the Dark Collection and installable for free on the audience devices, it makes visible a series of 12 3D graphics sculptures named Third Eye Prophecy, within the spaces of the Paiena Acutica of Bura in Milan, effectively constituting an alternative exhibition of digital guerrilla, totally independent from a limited time experience and free of economic and political problematics. An autonomous project, not proposed in a neutral space, but which fits into a pre-existing reality and immediately becomes a public collection by passing all those intermediate stages of the conventional art system. The pre-existing reality, of the Paiena Acutica of Brera, selected by Luca Pozzi for his great collection that combines the early experiments of Gothic art of the 13th century with futurist and metaphysical artworks of the 1900s passing through the Italian Renaissance masterpieces by Bellini, Montaigne, Tintero, Vernese up to Caravaggio, and that, starting from December 25th, it will grow by a parallel material dark collection, donated by the Milanese artist to his hometown. Used to museum raids, after the jumps in front of the Vernese paintings at the Louvre in Paris, the Sabata Gallery in Turin, the Chateau Versailles and the Gallery dell'Accademia of Venice, Pozzi returns to the Paiena Acutica of Brera where the pilgrimage began in 2007 to find alternative connections and experiment with new technologies. Unhinging the temporal linearity and reversing the point of view, this time he focuses on the voids, on the distances and on the relationships between the paintings to give voice to a hidden dimension, normally considered insignificant and negligible. Inspired by the relational approach of twister theory by physicist Roger Penrose from 1967 and always interested in scientific research in the field of quantum gravity and multi-messenger cosmology, with the dark collection Luca Pozzi triggers a visual counterpart of dark matter, currently studied at the Gran Sasso National Laboratories and visited by the artist in June 2018 in collaboration with the INFN. National Institute of Nuclear Physics. An elusive matter that unlike anything we have direct experience with, does not interact with the electromagnetic field and can only be observed indirectly through purely gravitational effects. In this sense, the space that separates the artworks and the peripheral areas of the paintings themselves become an opportunity to bring out a previously invisible bond a pattern that will remain active as long as the historical collection will be rearranged. The relationship of distance between one frame and another, the back wall, the between the works become specific formal related characteristics which, thanks to the augmented reality technology of the target image implemented in the dark collection become an unexpected new protagonist. That's how, between Bramante's Christ at the Column, 1490, and Raphael's Marriage of the Virgin, 1504, a floating presence will appear on the screens of visitors' smartphones, the color of which derives from the union of the palette of both masterpieces. A kind of contemporary oracle, a third eye wide open on the invisibility of quantum gravity processes. They are tennis balls ovalized by the speed with an explosive pupil in the center. Conceived by Luca Pozzi as premonitory apparitions that occur, when certain extremely improbable conditions all align, when certain distances are recognized, when nodes of meaning are activated between distant things in space and time. They represent the strange feeling that, in rare cases, 
is perceptible as something that is changing, as something that we are unable to grasp but that is in the air. A series of intangible sculptures that do not exist a priori, but that will emerge everywhere, and in every time, thanks to the perspective alignment of the spectators who, becoming real detectors, connect distant realities and access a multi-dimensional network of pure information.